Hello friends, uh, my name is Nilam Patel with Beyond 20. I am a solution consultant at Beyond 20. So in this video, we will discuss about what is incident management. So any uh, deviation from its normal or usual way of operation is an incident. Anything which is not working as it is expected can trigger an incident in ServiceNow. We can create incident uh, in multiple ways in ServiceNow. So let's see how do we create an incident in ServiceNow. So we can create either manually by adding all the required field, field in the incident form or we can create the incident uh, automated incident uh, where we can call the self services we can call the help desk and in certain uh, if we put certain conditions then the incident uh, triggers automatically in service now so let's see uh, uh, let's create an incident in service now so we can add the caller we can add categories subcategory uh, and yes we have to add the mandatory fields uh, so let's see test incident and then we can add the now uh, we can add the impact and urgency let's say low medium and the priority will be populated based on the impact and urgency we can uh, also um, assign the assignment group or assign to or else when we select particular category and subcategory then uh, based on the conditions that we have configured the assignment group and assign to will be auto populated and then as soon as we create submit um, the incident will get created let's save so we can see the incident has been created so if we do right click and save then uh, we the incident will be created but at the same time we will stay on the um, same page and if we hit submit over here then what will happen is um, the incident will get created and will able to go to the incident list of incident and uh, we'll see um, the incident get created over there so let's go ahead and check if the incident has been created or not. So let me copy the incident number. It's ending in 0018. So let's go to open incident. And yes, if we, uh, we, we do see here the incident has been created. So let's click and go back into that incident and let's talk. So incident management restores normal services operation while minimizing the impact to the business operations and maintaining the quality. So in ServiceNow, the incident management supports uh, the incident management processes in very well organized ways. Uh, let me uh, tell you how. So when we log the incidents in the instance or uh, by sending an email, it classifies the incidents by impact and urgency to prioritize the work. Um, as we discussed the impact based on the impact and urgency the priority will be populated it also assigns to the appropriate groups for the quick resolution and it escalates uh, as necessary for further investigations it also resolves the incident and notifies the users who logged this uh, incident by sending an email so we can also configure the email notifications and uh, based on the, the configuration the email will be sent out to the uh, caller and uh, we can also use the reports to monitor track and analyze the services uh, levels and the improvement uh, to man uh, manage the incident management so any user can record an incident and track it through the entire incident life cycle uh, until the services restored and the issue has been resolved by using ServiceNow. So this is how the incident management works in ServiceNow. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you in next video. Bye.